right, Eric, so it is election time. What does that mean? It's exciting. This is what it all comes down to. The, uh, the future of our industry really depends on what happens over uh, you know, the next 30 days and how the American people vote. So we decided to go ahead and put together a voter guide on some of the key issues um, related to things that impact our industry. Talk to me a little bit more about what those top issues are that we, we utilized. Yeah, absolutely. You know, when our members ask for something, we deliver it. And some of the top issues uh, in the House right now are the right to repair. It's an issue that SEMA has worked closely on. Um, over the last few years, we've seen some real progress. Um, and, you know, you'll get a chance to see how your members of Congress voted on this issue. So when it comes to legislation, not all legislation is created equal or even formulated equally. Uh, you know, some bills are more bipartisan, some a little more politically divided. I think we've probably seen a lot of the politically divided ones in, in the headlines throughout the last couple of years. But can you give us a rundown of sort of what's considered more bipartisan, meaning both sides of the aisle kind of agree on it versus ones that kind of have a different, different perspective depending on whether you're a Republican or a Democrat lawmaker? Absolutely. And the voter guide really uh, highlights both sects of issues. You've got a right to repair. Uh, we outline the 56 co-sponsors equally divided between Republicans and Democrats in the voter guide. You take the Explore Act. Uh, each member of the House actually supported it. Uh, one of the few bipartisan bills in terms of public lands. Great. And then what about um, issues like EV mandates? Yes, a little bit more divisive. Uh, you know, we've seen um, almost all Republicans support pushing back on EV mandates, specifically coming out of California and the EPA. We've also seen some bipartisanship here. We've seen a handful of Democrats crossing party lines in order to push back and make sure the American people have some choice. So voter guides are kind of a tricky thing, right? Um, some people feel, you know, they feel the partisan pull of maybe their perspectives on things. Um, but for us, we really kind of look at it with regards to the issues to help inform our voters, um, not to decide one party over the other, but what is the issue that's important to you as a voter? And then sort of this is how you, how that person voted. But talk to me about how you structured it. So the voter guide is so incredibly important because the issues that matter to our industry aren't always highly publicized. What we hear about in the media are oftentimes lightning rod issues, but not necessarily the household issues that are really important to specialty aftermarket businesses, racing businesses as well. So the voter guide goes through and it looks at some of those key votes and it allows you to see whether your member supported the bill or not. And then for other issues that are really important that didn't quite rise to the level of getting a vote, we looked at whether or not your lawmakers publicly supported them, um, what's known as co-sponsoring. And if they did co-sponsor, we have a check next to their name. If they didn't co-sponsor the bill, there's no check there. All right, so on our voter guide, it's generally, would you say a, if it says yes beside a lawmaker under their legislative, the legislative bills, is a yes a good thing? Yeah, and so we, we provide context um, in all the bills there um, that are highlighted where the vote took place. A yes is a positive thing. These are all bills that seem as supported. Okay, so if it says no, it's probably not good for our industry? Exactly. 